But belongs to the apostles and the elders of great millstone true well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You are Kim Tazadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the pre-shaman, this week's topic, we're going to be going into uh, Nate switching up the doctrine. You know, switching up the doctrine. Uh, he's on, he's, he did a video um, going into Lazarus and the poor man. And I believe he said uh, it's going into um, Jake's in another dimension. And that... Lazarus and the rich man, rather, and that the rich man is an Esau, but it's a Jake, and they're in another, another dimension, and there's a certain part of this dimension that's like hell, or sorry, in the kingdom. It was just, it was just out of there. Anyways, this is the book of uh, uh, First Timothy, the fourth chapter, and, it's, and I'm gonna start at one. Actually, let me let me make sure that's correct. Yep. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 and we're going to be jumping throughout the book of Timothy because it deals with this sort of, sort of situation right it says now the spirit uh, speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils now knowing the name of the Lord is a part of the faith alright sticking to the things that you've learned is also a part of the of, of faith the name has deviated from this because he knows that the story uh, with Lazarus and the rich man, that the rich man is Esau, all right, now he's trying to say that's that's um, Jake. Um, it's off, you know? He's coming with a different breakdown now that, that that's, that's talking about a, another dimension in, in the kingdom, some shit like that, but mm -mm. he's right about it, it, it being in the kingdom when the, ro the roles get rever reversed, all right? But it's not talking about there's another dimension in hell and shit like that or whatever, okay? It says, um, uh, depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And that's, you, you'll find out too, not just Nate, but let's say for Sakar, for example, all right? One was, once was a part of Great Millstone. Now he's broken off teaching a bunch of other shit, man. Uh, he's teaching that you could celebrate Memorial Day. Memorial Day was really set up by, by Jake, Levite, so really I'm honoring them. But when the scriptures doesn't say that's a high holy day. All right, the days that we celebrate are high holy days, you know? We might commiserate with people in the world on those days because we're in Clark Kent mode, all right? But we know, according to the scriptures, we're not going to say those are holy days that the Lord told us to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, uh, these guys these guys be fishing, man. You know, a lot of times these guys be fishing. They be fishing for controversy. You know, just, oh, look, see, I got something different now, and this is unique to us. They don't know about this and trying to create some some controversy. It says, speaking lies, hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. And that's what they're doing, all right? They're speaking lies, okay? They're speaking lies. You know, to say that we don't have the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, that's that's a complete lie, man, all right? Because the scriptures in Ecclesiasticus, the 17th chapter and the 10th verse says, the elect shall praise his holy name, all right? So, and also, um, this dude, uh, Sakari, talking about we shouldn't praise Yahweh Shai. That Yahweh Shah is just big, big bro. We should go to Yahweh directly. Totally, totally adverse to what the scriptures is talking about, man. We have to go through Yahweh Shah. The book of Philippians tells us that all knees shall bow to him. And this is why it's good to constantly do lessons and go into the fundamental scriptures and the things that you learn. Because guess what? Demons jump on people and they forget the things that they've learned. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine... But after their own lust shall they heap unto themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned onto fables. They're going to turn their ears away from the truth and shall be turned onto fables, right? So that's the thing, all right? They're going to be teaching. They're going to be, um, it says that they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned onto fables, you know? Um, man, that didn't that didn't swept up a lot of guys. Flat Earth, that just came to my mind. That took out a bunch of dudes that was in Green Millstone, Flat Earth theory. Okay, guys that was kind of in it for like a good ten years and so, you know, or five ten years. So you just have to remain solid and, and, and grounded, you know, rooted and built up as the scriptures talk about and the things that you've learned. This is why also, you know, don't be listening to a million camps, man. All right, don't be listening to a million different camps because you're only gonna that's only gonna confuse you. 
you know you're gonna say wait a minute they teach that and that that part sounds good there and that part sounds good there and now you don't you know the scriptures tell you amos three and three can two walk together unless they be agreed all right so stick with the men that that keep the the, the, the scriptures um you know 100 percent pure you see now I don't want to I don't want to say for certain, but I believe Nate was speaking about a place called hell. But I don't want to confirm just that because I heard him he was using hell and shit like that in that video. Uh, for Second Timothy three and thirteen, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right, and that's what these wicked ass niggas are gonna be doing, man, deceiving being deceived all right they're gonna keep twisting the doctrine okay you know what when you how about shimmy i come back and all hell break loose there's not gonna be a debate as to who the lord is really working with man all right it's not gonna be a debate you know in the end the prophecy shall speak and we're gonna see who the lord was working with concerning prophecies man all right because that's the main that's the main thing man all right are these guys breaking down the scriptures correctly and going into prophecies correctly not supposed to add or take away from these scriptures and that's what a lot of them guys are doing 14 but continue thou in the things which thou has learned and Nate you know that when it goes into Lazarus and the rich man okay that that rich man is Esau you knew that for a number of years all of a sudden it's changed huh it says but continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of, uh, and has been assured um, of knowing of whom thou has learned them. Right, you got to know who you learned that doctrine from, who taught you. You know. Second Timothy 1 verse 13 hold fast the fo um, the form of sound words hold fast like fasten your seatbelt I mean you're not supposed to fumble this thing man all right it says hold fast the form of sound word we just read about sound doctrine it's the same thing you got to hold fast to sound doctrine okay because every now and again guess what the, the itching ears are gonna demons are gonna start whispering in people's ears and shit like that and you got to say look man that's not what i was taught you know now does the scripture evolve in terms of the understanding and the breakdowns yes but it shouldn't be contra it shouldn't be contradictions in there you know it shouldn't, it shouldn't be contradictions in there there's no there's, um you have you have jakes that are doing well okay but there's not going to be no fucking great gulf all right between jakes that did well and jakes that did decent or, or that didn't do that well in the kingdom man that's complete horseshit it says hold fast if all jake is going to be rich and wealthy and together man all right that's in the blessings deuteronomy 20th chapter it says hold fast the form of sound words which thou has heard of me in faith and love which is in Yahweh Shah that good thing which was committed unto thee keep by the Holy Spirit which which dwelleth in us so again topic of the lesson stick in with the things you have learned don't get confused with these other camps, okay? Listen to different camps. Because every now and again, these wicked ass things are gonna have itching ears and it's only gonna, it's only gonna get more and more absurd, the things that they're gonna bring and teach, okay? That's how come we're a great millstone, we're the vanguard, you know? We gotta warn our people, warn the elect. Look out for these guys, these wolves in sheep clothing. With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rechak Kudash, the blondes of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, true well. Salutations to the whole few elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim, that do this thing in that most truth and sincerity. Shalom.